Well, the car won't start, and I'm pretty sure uh, it's hydraulic, the engine hydraulic, or it's, I got a hydro lock. Uh, that's my uh, methanol injection, but I'm using ordinary windshield washer fluid. And uh, I remember filling this thing up uh, before parking it the last time. It's been sitting maybe a week. First, I thought it was a dead battery. Well, it, that was the other thing. The battery was dead. Uh, just put in a uh, charge on the battery or charge the battery, put it in, and now it just locks up on me. So hopefully I didn't bend anything. I'm going to have to take the spark plugs out, disconnect the charge pipe, and uh, get the engine running, blow out all the coolant, not coolant, sorry, <laughs> blow out all the windshield washer fluid. Uh, hopefully... Um, that'll solve that but uh, I was I was aware that there's a possibility of the the water injection draining into the manifold especially when there is engine vacuum uh, if it's located in the manifold the the the, uh, the jet or the nozzle but it's located ahead of the throttle so there's there's never any vacuum so the only way it could drain back is if the nozzle is stuck open or drain out of the bottle is if the is if the nozzle is stuck open and the pump itself that's behind the bottle here is allowing fluid to drain out uh, that's a bad design they should have a check valve somewhere in the system oh god hopefully nothing is bent but anyways uh, hopefully I'll get some nice video of the water coming out of the cylinder as well as out of the um, charge pipe when it's disconnected because obviously four liters or whatever that is is drained into the intercooler long story short let's see what happens okay spark plugs are out number five is the one that's wet got the uh, intake here disconnected you can see washer fluid down there so I'm going to crank it in clear flood mode, meaning when the throttle is wide open, uh, there's no fuel injection going on. And then uh, I'm going to squirt the water out of the cylinders. Once the water stops squirting out of the cylinders, uh, I'm going to put the plugs back in and start it with the intake disconnected. And then that'll blow all the washer fluid. Here's, here's the nozzle. So it all drained into there into the cooler and then with the engine running it'll blow the washer fluid out of the intake hose okay and hopefully nothing's bent throttle wide open cranky went to work did a little bit of wire wheeling and um Cleaned them with brake clean, blew them dry with air. Time to put them back in, see if it starts. Doesn't look like any of the washer fluid made its way into the oil pan. Oil is a little low, no big deal. I cleaned the spark plugs on a wire wheel and uh, I used some brake parts cleaner to clean them and blew them dry with air. I think I mentioned that in the earlier video. So anyways, uh, plugs are in. I'm gonna start it with the intake tube off. Hopefully it'll stay running long enough so that it can come out here and play with the throttle. Uh, turbo airflow will push water out. At least that's the idea. Let's see what happens. Sound like any valves are bent. Cool coolant level is a little low, no big deal. I would
would have sworn that um, four liters is in here somewhere. But nothing's really coming out. Put the camera down, I'm not really feeling any flow. Okay, so my suspicion is that half the cooler has got water in it and the air is just going past the water. It's not really pushing the the water. By, by water, I mean winter washer fluid. It's not, it, it's not getting a chance to push all the water up because uh, partially air is going up. I don't want to hook up that hose and leave it like that. Yeah, I can't really drill a hole in the cooler like I usually do. What to do, what to do. I found the water. 